All right, the first thing you need to do is download the RAR file, the RAR file of the dev hook files. That will be in the top of the post. Go ahead and up, open that up. And right there you're going to see the four files that are in it. You need to go ahead and turn on your PSP. That's the PSP that I'm fixing up right now, so go ahead and turn that on. And put it in USB mode. Once you put it in USB mode, it's the window's going to come up. Open up your dev hook folder. Open up 40 MS root. Click on the, click on that, and drag them into here. Overwrite all. Now do the same with those, with all five, all six of those folders, and just make sure to put them in the right spots. Now once you have all your files on there, go ahead and install PSP Brew. It'll be right there. And open it up. I'll open up. Now click on load PBP. Go to your dev hook files folder. Click on your PSP firmware 2.00. Click on eboot.pbp. Open it up. Underneath the list files, you're going to click on data.psar and click extract file. Extract it right to the right folder and click save. File saved. Exit out. Now drag that file from the thing right into the root of your memory stick, data.psar. It'll go in. Once that's done, go to your PSP. Go all the way over to game, memory stick, and go down to, or it'll be the first option, the dev hook firmware installer. Click X. I'll boot up. You're going to click O to start it, and it'll take a few minutes to extract the firmware. When it's done extracting the firmware, do the same exact thing that you did to the 2.0 firmware file, but do it with the 2.5 firmware file. Extract the data.psar, put it in the rear of your memory stick, and do this again with it to get the 2.5 files on it. And then when you're done with that, you'll be able to boot up that hook. Alright, now I got that ISO on there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit those icons real quick. I'm just going to sort them and do the corrupted data thing. And sort. Alright. Now, hold on a second. Okay. Now, on your PSP, go over game, memory stick. Go to Dev Device Hook. Alright. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is just how to boot a UMD that is um, that's 2.0 or over. Okay. You need to go down to I can't really see it that well. But you have to go down to um, Firmware and click 0 and go down to 2.5 the last option, click O again, go to the UMD version, and go to 2.xx, it's the bottom one, to 2.00, and the UMD mount to UMD disk, and UMD select to the actual disk, which is UMD disk. And then just go to start, and click O, and it'll boot just like you were turning on your PSP, but it'll boot into firmware 2.5. You're going to have to set it up, so I'm just going to go through all these settings, click X. Alright, now I'll put in the UMD. I'm going to be using Star Wars Battlefront 2. Just put it in, close it up. Okay. 
And there it is. Alright, there it is. I'm just going to click X. And it'll boot it. And it'll take about 10... The screen will go black for about 10 seconds. And then it'll actually boot up. And there it is. Now I'm going to show you how to load an ISO.